Right. Hello and good morning. Today is, well, right now it's 10.05. Definitely getting a late start today. Um, I don't know. Yesterday I had work and night before I slept so horrible. So I really was just needed to catch up on some sleep. So definitely getting a late start to the gym. There's definitely going to be a lot more people there today. Um, yeah, I go to school. I'm college is starting in about a week and a lot of the new freshmen are moving in. So yesterday at the gym, it was pretty crowded because all the new freshmen and they're just not that it's a bad thing, but they're kind of just traveling in packs and <laughs> made it kind of annoying at the gym, but I'm just getting my shoes on. But yeah, uh, today is back and biceps. Um, I've been watching a lot of the vlogs from this guy called Sam Selleck. I'll tag him in the description. He's been doing a lot of vlogs like this for going to the gym and stuff. And I've really been enjoying them. And he even does the microphone like this next to his hat. So that's what I've been trying to do. Well, this piece with this channel, you know, I've been trying to do a lot of different content and things to do and i've still just been trying to figure it out but i thought i'm like this doing kind of like a daily vlog of like what i do as like a comic book writer or creator might be interesting i guess and it may be content that i can bust out every day just filming myself go throughout my day so hopefully you enjoy so let's let's head to the gym Alrighty, back from the gym it was all right it was an all right session Hmm. Yeah, like I said earlier, there's not that it's bad, but there's a, just everyone's moving back here into our college town for school. And there's so many freshmen, which is totally fine because obviously I was that freshman too. Um, But they just like travel in packs, you know, and like there'll be like three guys on one bench and then like i try to go next to them and it's just awkward because they're just sitting there talking and they keep getting in my way which honestly it's like i definitely probably did that when i first got into the gym because obviously like i've been going to the gym consistently for a couple years now and i guess it just the more you go there's like you kind of understand the gym etiquette i don't know i hope that doesn't sound like douchey and be like oh i i'm i'm well versed in the gym culture now i don't know just sometimes when people travel in the big groups it's a little annoying because just for me i just really like i don't know i just like going alone kind of blasting my music and just just i don't know there's just a serenity in it it's it's helped me a lot with my anxiety and i don't know but you do you you know oh but also what i'm eating for lunch i, I eat this a lot for post-workout they're just chicken patties not chicken patty like chicken burgers and i we just get them from costco i don't know the calorie count on them but just they're they're really good i just put them on this griddle and just grill them for a couple minutes because they're already pre-cooked <laughs> And so that's what I normally do. And then for carbs, I I really like frozen fruit. And then, or I'll have just like a small bowl of cereal. Obviously, I, this, the point of this video isn't me to be like, oh, what I eat in a day. Because, but I don't know. This is the day in my life. But I am going to campus. After I eat this, I'm going to shower. I'm going to campus and I'm going to start writing for the comic. Because... My first comic ever, and you know, I hope the title of this channel isn't weird, me being like, day in the life of a comic book creator or writer, which I guess that's true, just because my comic's almost done, and I have about nine different series that I'm currently working on. And so, I, I maybe I should call myself a creator, writer, I don't know. That just, I don't know. It's just me, but you know, 
yeah, so I'm just going to my college campus today. I'm going to go into the library into one of those. They have like private rooms that you can rent out. And I'm going to go in there just so I can kind of set up my phone and film myself because I don't want to be talking to myself like this in public, you know? But yeah, and I'm, I don't know. And it's been a dream of mine to make this comic book or just make comic books in general. But it's been hard just because I'm not a artist. And so I've had to hire an artist, which is definitely kind of expensive. But I'm so happy with what the artist is doing. If you've seen some of my videos before, or you can look back, I've posted a couple reels about what the comic book looks like. So you can definitely go look that look at that. But the reason I wanted to make this YouTube channel mainly started off comic books and because I wanted to create an audience for so when my comic does come out, I mean, I guess it's just marketing. Because like, I'd love to be able to sell this because I really do think like my the story that I've created or stories plural is are kind of are unique and really special. And I, you know, the obviously it's a life goal, but then it's also I'd love to share it and maybe sell it and maybe that could help me with my college tuition and things like that. Well, it's, and I just hope that doesn't sound bad. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be like, oh, you have to buy my comic if you're watching the, these videos. No, I don't know. But if you haven't seen any of my videos before, the comic that I am working on and that you'll see me working on later is called The Tempest. And it's kind of like a mix of Percy Jackson and like superheroes. Um, so it's pretty cool. But I, you know, if, if you look, if you look back on my channel, you'll see I post a lot of reels. I posted a lot of videos about me going comic book hunting and things like that. And I, the comic book hunting videos definitely do the best. And I've, I've posted a couple, I've posted one video of my review of the Man of Steel movie. And it's doing okay. I think it has about a thousand views right now, which is awesome. Um, but I'm, I guess I'm not super satisfied with my editing skills and how, I guess a hundred percent how that video turned out. So I really just try to find so many different kinds of things that I can do. But, I don't know. I just thought doing something like this, like vlogging can maybe help. Like it's like, I guess, easier type of content as well as being able to do it consistently, just kind of filming yourself. And, you know, sometimes with my stress and anxiety, I do feel like kind of alone sometimes and I don't really have any friends. Obviously my wife is my best friend and I can talk to her about anything, but sometimes it's good to have a friend that you can just talk to about other things. And so, and I do have friends, but sometimes, I don't know, they don't understand. So maybe, I guess I'm doing this vlogging because it's like easier type of content. Also be able to promote my comic more and maybe inspire other people to make comic books as well as maybe being a little therapeutic for me at least. Don't mind me eating these burgers with a spoon. I just, I don't want to waste. I just don't want to waste a, a fork because I was using a spoon for my cereal, but well, not to help that in it sound like a therapy session, but and sorry, I hope this mic's fine. I definitely, it's definitely a very cheap mic. So I definitely need to upgrade. Or in the future, I'm gonna try to get a like an actual camera. I can put like a real mic on top of it and stuff. I think there's things I can do. There's just better things I can do like microphone attachments with my phone. I'll probably, I just have to look into that. But filming long vlogs like this, like I've done before, just takes up so much storage on my phone, so. I don't know, but listening back, I, I think it sounds fine. I really hate the sound of my own voice. Probably everyone does so, but I hope it's fine for you, but, but I guess making videos like this kind of goes against what I think I should be doing with making videos because I'm like, oh, videos have to be catchy. You have to like put background music and stuff, but I've been watching this blogger guy. He just does. Uh, he's a bodybuilder. His name's Sam Selleck or Selleck. 
and he just kind of does rough videos kind of like this of just him driving to the gym talk and just kind of talks to himself and i was like that's the kind of content i would love to make because i'd love to just talk about my comic book and maybe not necessarily like day in my life but maybe that's what this is evolving into well i hope this can be fine and i hope some people could enjoy videos like this not me just eating in front of you but <laughs> But you know what I mean. But later, we're going to go to campus and I'll walk you through kind of like my, my how I write the comic because I'm going to be I have the story all written out for this one that I'm working on right now, but I need to break it down into storyboards and like each individual panel of what I want it to look like because this first comic is going to be done in just a little bit and this is the second comic. And so I just need to figure out exactly how I want it to look. So... Yeah, I'll be heading to the library soon, and so, yeah. Well, I made it. I feel awkward talking to myself in here, just because they're just the window right here, and I'm still in a, little, in a little office. So, I don't know. And I hope I don't get kicked out. Obviously, school hasn't started, so there's not a lot of people in this huge freaking library. But... I thought I would just maybe take you along with what I intend to do, I guess, or what I want to do at least, with this second book. So the first book, and like I said earlier, the first book of my series is called The Tempest, and this, the book I'm working on right now, is the second, the second issue of this story. And so the first issue is honestly a shorter comic book than I thought it was going to be. Just because I've had this idea for a comic for years and years and years. Um, and then I, I always knew what I wanted the first book to be like. But then when I finally got down to it, like how it was actually going to look, it was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Which I think is fine. Because the second book is really where it gets deeper into the character and stuff. Because the first book, it it's kind of the origin story a little bit. Of the character it's gonna pretty much this character the tempest his name is carter brooks and it's about how he gets his mysterious powers and i don't want to give too much away but they're kind of like percy jackson percy jackson is the son of the greek god poseidon and he has water powers or the ability to man manipulate water so i wanted my character to be something like that um and i don't want to give too much away um, but it first kind of shows, Car the, the first book kind of shows Carter as he is, um, he's had his powers for a while and what he's been doing. And then it also shows, it goes back in time a little bit and it shows how he got his powers. And it's really, really cool. I kind of posted, I posted a reel here on, well, on TikTok and on YouTube about kind of what that looks like when he gets his powers a little bit. Um, so yeah, and so what I did here, let me just show you kind of how I made the script and how I made it look, uh, so the artist could like decipher exactly what I wanted. But right here, you might not be able to see it super amazing. I'll try to zoom in. So what I did is I kind of showed pictures of what I wanted, like the scene to look like. And then what I did is I did red highlighted words is the speaking dialogue. And the yellow highlighted words is the thought dialogue. I didn't mean to there. Is the thought dialogue. And so I just did like scene, half page. This and this, this. I don't want you to read too much because I don't want it to be spoiled. But I just kind of put pictures just kind of like this of how I wanted each scene to look like. And e each number of this is what the panel, um, what, how, what panel it, it is. And so that's kind of what I gave the artist. And I don't want to give too much away. You could, you'd probably be able to pause and see. But then right here, this is where I'm at. This is kind of just the synopsis of what I want the second book to look like. But yeah, I think I have what I want the cover to look like. I should have brought some markers because there's a whiteboard right there. Maybe I should have had it draw. I should draw it so you guys can see what I want it to look like. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to be working on this second book and trying to figure out each panel, what I want each panel to look like. And I guess it's hard because 
for years, I've had this idea for this comic, especially since I was 16, I think. And so I've always had in my mind, well, this whole story, I know what the whole story is, but in my mind, I've always had, I always knew what I wanted the first book to look like panel wise, just everything for the first book. But now that I actually decided to bite the bolt and spend money on getting an artist, now I'm like, oh wow, now I need to actually figure out what I want the second book to look like. And I knew, I know the story, but I'm like, what do I want to be shown in the second book? And so that's really, it's, it's kind of hard, but, um, and then I also have another book that I, I want to be working on that I, that's going to be the second series that I'm coming out with. And I'm still working on the title of it. Um, and everything down to the story. I don't have the whole story figured out because a lot of times how I come up with these stories is I just have the idea. And then over time through just like daydreaming and imagination, just trying to put in the work to try to figure it out, then the story comes. But the second series that I'm gonna be working on is called, this is still work in progress, but it's called God Given. And I hope this, is interesting enough. I'm just sitting here talking, but I actually also had a podcast and I was able to on this podcast, I don't do it anymore, but I was just able to kind of vent and talk about things like this. So this is like podcast 2.0, but the second book is called God Given. So for me, I'm a, um, I'm a religious guy. And so I guess in uh, a lot of the these stories that I'm creating, there are some, I guess, religious elements in them, but not like too crazy, you know, just because that's just how I think religion, just a part of my life. But the story is, and the story is what if in just a world kind of like ours, there's no superheroes. Just what if someone like me, a very just average person that just goes to school, has a wife, has a dog, you know, just a very nuclear family type of person living in just a world just like ours. What if that person tomorrow were to wake up with powers, like the powers of Superman? Because obviously that is, people talk about Superman like he's a god, which is like in a world just kind of like ours, what if someone were to wake up tomorrow with the powers of a god? Like what? what realistically would happen and i guess i've thought about this story for a long time and there's like in the man of steel movie with superman or batman versus superman we see a lot of elements like that um like how the world is reacting to superman after there's like the big fight in metropolis with zod in man of steel um and then you saw definitely like problems that superman faced and the world faced with someone having abilities like that. But just in a world like ours, if I woke up one day tomorrow and I was the only person in the entire world that had powers just like that, realistically, what would I do? And how would the world react? Because I think in Man of Steel, it's definitely exaggerated, just a, maybe a little bit. And so the story is, I don't know, because for me, and the reason why it would be called God given, and I don't want to give the story away so anyone can use it, I'm working on it right now, so no one can freaking steal it. <laughs> um, but for me, since I'm a religious person, I if I were to wake up tomorrow with those powers, and there's like that, it's impossible. Like powers like that don't exist. And so, and if there's no explanation, I would see it as a, as God a God-given gift that for some reason God gave me these abilities and I don't know why and for me if I had those abilities I would know that God gave them to me um, for a reason to help people and I would feel like obviously there's the Spider-Man quote like with great power comes great responsibility but I see it as that for as me for someone that's daydreamed about having superpowers my whole life if it actually happened I know that I would have a great responsibility to use them the way God would want me to. And with that mindset, how would that guide my actions? What would I do? Would I become like a vigilante to help people? Or would I become like a symbol? Like would I announce myself to the world on, on TV? Be like, I'm the new Superman. I'm going to be a symbol to the world. I don't know. Um, 
but I have, a, I think, a good story of what would happen and a lot of good things, a lot of good elements, and I'm really excited to share it. And there's a lot of elements of this story. This story has, hasn't been, this story hasn't been in development as long as this book, first book, The Tempest, but um, I'm very excited to share it. And there's a lot of elements in the story that make me really excited to share it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to be working on these books for a little bit. I don't think you need to come with me for, you know, this whole time, but maybe I'll do a quick time lapse and then I'll see you once I have a little bit of work done. Alrighty, well, I've been working on this for about an hour or more. What time? Uh, it's been about an hour and a half. And yeah, like I was saying earlier, it is harder to, I guess, put it into words, everything I imagine. And it's still like hard to think of individual frames of how I want this story to be told. And something great about the artist that I found that's been writing my first book is she's amazing at just like, Kind of making her own twists or adjustments as she needs to and there's the last pages that she finished for my first comic she did a little twist that i didn't think of that wasn't initially what i had written down but she did a little twist on it and it was so awesome so yeah so i guess this system that i have of making the panels works for her i put a lot of reference images so that she can I guess see exactly what I want, but there's some parts of the story that are just hard to visualize 100%, but I'm so excited. I'm like, I think I'm about halfway done storyboarding this second book. I do need to start working on the book God Given. I do need to start doing that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm about halfway done with storyboarding this second book. I've been thinking about it for a long time and I definitely need to go back and work on the script a little bit more like the speaking dialogue and how I want it. I guess one thing that I struggle with, so I want the main character, to, his life and like his backstory to still be kind of like a mystery, but I'm still not sure how I want to do it. Like, should I start off the book with being like, let me introduce myself. I'm Carter Brooks. Not like him talking, but more of like a commentary type dialogue. If that kind of makes sense, if it should be like, hi, my name's Carter Brooks, and this is like, let me explain some things. My life, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I should do that. It's hard to like, I want people's advice with this, I guess, but I also don't want to give too much away because if you'd be interested in this comic, I want you to buy it and still like be surprised at the story, I guess. And I guess there's no one there's really no one in this whole world that knows this comic book. I talk about it with my wife, but she doesn't fully understand and things like that. So it's hard to get advice, but hmm, I'm still trying to figure it out because it's like there are some things I want to say to like explain the character. So like for one example, I'll, I'll point this out. I don't think this is a huge spoiler. But the main character of this series is going to have like water powers, kind of like Percy Jackson. And I'm also going to have him be kind of like super rich. And he lives in this penthouse apartment in New York City. And so, and part of the reason why I'm going to have him be rich is through his water powers. I don't know. I just think this is funny. But he found like a shipwreck and he found like treasure in the shipwreck at the bottom of the ocean and he pretty much sold that and he, that's what kind of what he does to make money and he just finds gold or like lost treasures in the ocean and he sells them and makes like a crap load of money because people would never be able to find this kind of stuff so that's how he makes a living is doing stuff like that and so i think i want to explain that somehow because i think that's just kind of funny 
little quirk that the main character has and how he's made so much money and he does help a lot of people and part of the reason is he wants to help a lot of people too with his money but i'm not sure how to do that like should i put that in the script somewhere where his like where he says that out loud or should i put it in the more of like a commentary standpoint i don't know sorry help talking out loud like this kind of helps me decide things so i'm still trying to figure it out as of right now as what i've written into this first half of the second book i haven't had any like commentary we get introduced to a new character and i do a little bit of commentary like oh this is grant he's carter brooks best friend i kind of say something like that and i think it works more but obviously this is still in development so i gotta figure that out but this is kind of what a, being a comic book writer looks like it's there's a lot of challenges and something i definitely have to get used to just because like i was saying earlier I have, there's like two stories that I'm like working on right now, but I have nine stories with like nine different characters that I'm still working on. I'm still in my head. I'm still trying to figure out the story and everything that I want, how I want it to turn out. And then I, I still need to put it on paper and stuff. So this comic book that I have, it's going to be a lot and there's going to be a lot of series because... I want this to be, this is like my dream job. It really is. And I guess, like I was saying, this is my way of marketing it, I guess. And so when the stories do come out, when the comics do come out, the viewers of this video, hopefully, they've been working, been they've been through it with me every single day. They've been watching my videos and seeing how much work I've been putting in to making these stories. And so... That when they actually come out and you can read them, you appreciate them a little bit more, I guess. So I hope I can get there one day, make a whole comic book universe kind of like Marvel or DC. My my comic book universe, or I guess the company, is Ray Comics, just like the title of this YouTube channel. My middle name is Ray. I was uh, Ray is my great grandpa, and I've always wanted to name this comic book company after him um because he's a really important person i never met him but he's a really big influence in my family's life and i just i think ray comics also has a good ring to it i guess um but yeah i think i might take a break or head home um i don't know what i have planned for the rest of the day probably nothing too crazy i'm probably going to chill for a little bit and i'll probably work on this maybe a little bit later um, but I'll probably go home and spend some time with my wife, watch some anime, because I don't work today. Well, this is the last week before school starts, and I'm not going to have a job during this school year, just because I'm going to be really busy. I'm taking six, six classes, and I'm also going to be trying to focus on this whole time, getting the comic book out there, working on these kind of videos, so that hopefully this can be my job one day. That'd be really cool um but yeah I, i'll probably finish the video there i appreciate you if you tuned into this video and if there's any advice you have for me with future videos if you think there should be some background music or things like that let me know this is just i'm kind of just copying what some other people have done with their vlogs and i'm just going for it uh, let me know if you think i should get a different mic i definitely need to or i might just get a camera and so that could solve all my problems but yeah, thanks so much for tuning into this video and I'll see you on the next one.